Welcome back to another instalment of New Zealand's Bird of the Week, where in this video I will be talking about the Northern Giant's Petrel, one of the largest of their group, that's with their bulk and aggressive temperament, are some of the most formidable predatory seabirds around. I hope you enjoy. Although closely resembling mollymorks and albatrosses in size, they are more closely related to five smaller formarine petrel species, like the Antarctic former Anticate Petrel, belonging to the family Procellaridae, one of the four families that make up the larger order Procellariforms, and are absolutely the largest of their group. Adults are mainly dark grey to brown with a pale grey face, with this pale grey extending to the neck, breast and belly in populations breeding in the South Atlantic. Their eyes are pale grey to whitish, with their bill being pinkish yellow with a red-brown tip. The sexes appear similar, although the males are heavier and with larger and more robust bills. They weigh around 3 to 5 kilograms and have body lengths between 80 through 95 centimetres and wingspans ranging from 1.5 to 2.1 metres. Their distribution overlaps broadly, as their name implies, slightly north of the similar southern giant petrels, which do differ from them in a number of ways. Northern birds forage in similar locations, but do so at different times of the year due to their early breeding season, with this temporal segregation in habitat use potentially reducing interspecific competition. The tarsus of the northern giant petrels is slightly longer on average than the southern species, giving them proportionally longer legs, although the southern birds tend to have larger wingspans, as well as being typically larger overall. They also appear to be differentiated by their bills, which as mentioned before are red in northern birds, as opposed to the bluish green in the southern birds. Both species are restricted to the southern hemisphere and inhabit a range of localities, including the Kerguelen Islands, Macquarie Islands and South Georgia, with the southern birds nesting as far south as Antarctica. Northern giant petrels are extremely aggressive predators and scavengers, with their reputation as such leading to them being given the nickname of the stinker or stinkpots due to their intense and foul smell, described as smelling like putrefying flesh, and some whalers occasionally call them gluttons. Birds are highly opportunistic feeders, at sea feeding on the typical krill, fish and squids that many seabirds do, diving to depths of up to 2 metres by plunge diving, but will also target other, far larger prey. Unlike other members of their family, their legs are strong enough to allow them to walk confidently on land, and as such find most of their foods near coastlines. While often feeding on carrion and regularly scavenging the breeding colonies of penguins and seals, they will target still living animals. Being extremely aggressive and large, they will often go after and kill other seabirds, usually penguin chicks or sick and injured adult penguins, and will even target albatross, which they kill either by beating them to death with their wings or beaks and or drowning them. When they eat, they are capable of opening large holes in their foods, using the huge bills to nip away and then often inserting the bill or even the whole heads into a carcass to access the internal organs, often blotting the heads and neck feathers in the process, hence their other nickname of sea vulture, and is an image often showcased online and elsewhere to show just how deadly looking feathered non-avian dinosaurs like dromaeosaurs could be, even though they're really intimidating enough as it is, and the whole anti-feather discussion is overall very asinine and immature. This method of eating effectively leaves a carcass, like that of a penguin, reduced to a crumpled, deflated shell, with their pecking order being further interesting as to which birds have first goes at performing such grisly acts. Says order is enforced by threat displays, with their wings being spread out and their tails raised and fanned, in what is known as a seal master posture. An estimated 2,570 pairs of northern giant petrels breed in New Zealand annually before dispersing to temperate and subtropical seas during winter. In the country, they breed at the Auckland, Campbell, Antipodes and Chatham Islands, with them then forming rough nests which are built about 50 centimetres off of the ground. Their egg is incubated for about 60 days, with the chick, once hatched, being bruises for around 3 weeks and then fledging after about 4 months, although they do not achieve sexual maturity for 6 or 7 years after doing so. Northern giant petrels are more strongly attracted to fishing vessels than their southern counterparts, in part potentially due to them having more contacts with people and will feed on any discarded waste from the ships, although this does place them at risk. Birds have been known to drown on long line fishing hooks and occasionally fatally collide with the heavy metal cables that attach trawl nets to the vessels. Other marine threats include eating plastic debris, the very rare but incredibly potent oil spill or shooting by commercial fishers to reduce bait stealing. Birds do have a total population of around 17 to 21,000 mature birds, and from what has been observed, have appeared to have increased over the last two decades, after being expected to decrease. 
As such, the RUCN has thus downgraded them from being near threatens to least concern, and further surveys have shown that many locations are continuing to increase in numbers, potentially due to better control and regulations on longline fishing, increases in fish waste, as well as more carrion from fur seals, whose populations have also increased after their long history of being killed in the sealing industry. And with that, I thank you for watching this instalment of New Zealand's Bird of the Week. For next time, you are now able to vote for the Auckland Island Rail, small and extremely secretive birds, known from only two islands in the subantarctic. With that, I'll see you next time, whenever that may be. Thank <laughs> you.